temperatures yesterday got it into 70 even, but look off towards our west and south 80s and 90s, and it's very close to knocking on our doorstep today, but it's going to be full blast here tomorrow away from the lake shore. So if you don't like the 80s and 90s, maybe you've got the day off tomorrow. You want to keep things cool. Head over to the lake shore. You'll be fine. We've got temperatures that are expected to be above average continuing into the middle and second half of June after a cool start to the month. This is the area of low pressure and its associated warm front that's lifting northward and along this warm front boundary we will have the potential for some strong and severe thunderstorms. Right now we do have a cluster of them developing and moving eastward across Minnesota. Now how this thunderstorm cluster propagates eastward will be very important to see how it expands heading into the afternoon hours. That's why there is a slight risk and a marginal risk for severe weather. A better chance for organized severe storms will be over the southern part of the state. But with that being said, uh, parts of our viewing area are under a slight risk of severe weather for mainly along and south of Highway 10 and then south of Highway 29. There is a marginal risk for severe storms. It's quiet right now, but as we get into the afternoon, there will be the risk for some hail and gusty winds. And sometimes when we get these lines of wind damaging thunderstorms, there could get these quick little spin up tornadoes. So hence why we do have a tornado possibility as well. Slow risk, slim risk, but still we can't completely rule it out. So our high risk future radar product, quiet morning, quiet late morning, then comes about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon hours. We'll have a little bit of some rain showers and a few thunderstorms where you see a lot of these kind of peaks. That's showing some high reflectivity rates. That's where the best chance to see some of these strong winds, maybe some hail will be occurring. And based on the latest trajectory with some of these models, it's showing it occurring just scraping our far southern tier counties and then moving down south. So hopefully if that ends up being the case, we might remain quiet and not have to deal with much damage cleanup from some uh, strong and severe storm. So we'll take it if that ends up being the case. However, wherever we do see the showers and storms, we could see a quick pickup of a quarter to a half inch of rain, maybe even an excess of an inch if we do see a little bit of training storms. Temperatures at the moment, most of us are in the 50s. We even have a few locations in the 40s, Ephraim and Mountain in the upper 40s, but the rest of us in the 50s with winds coming in off the lake at about 5 to 10 miles per hour where the wind is blowing and we'll see the winds teeter more out of a southeast direction. 75 today, some strong and severe storms possible. Tonight we will drop off into the low 60s. Northeast winds 5 to 10. Tomorrow heat and humidity 93, but it feels like the low 100s when you add in that dew point. It's 91 on Wednesday, then a cold front moves in late Wednesday evening. That'll spark off a few showers and storms, some of which will be on the strong to severe side. But behind that, drier and cooler weather returning for Father's Day weekend. All right, we'll have to brace ourselves for that heat tomorrow. Gino, thank you. Still